is up you guys welcome back to another the boy who cooked the world and today we're going to be making something a little different we're going to be making some logs of fried grits with some barbecue jamaican jerk uh i mean broccoli let's get right into it okay so for this recipe since there's six of us and we eat a lot okay so we have Six cups of water to two cups of cornmeal. Okay? Right? And we're gonna pour. Once you pour the cornmeal in, you have to mix it immediately. Okay, so I'm going to go. Whoa. I'm gonna go pour it in and I'll show you how it looks. Okay, so once you get the cornmeal in the water, you have to stir it immediately or it's gonna clump up like it did here. But we can fix that, okay? So, you gotta keep storing it for like 10 minutes. And I decided, instead of logs, why don't we just do some squares? Some nice squares of cornmeal. So, what you have to do once this is done, you have to let it cool. So you keep stirring it, and you're gonna have to keep stirring it, and keep stirring it, till you get all the clumps out and everything. Then once it gets about this consistency, consistency, you have to get the top and put the top on it okay once you put the top on it you want to turn it on low and then you're gonna let that simmer on low and stir it every once in a while like every uh, five minutes okay then you put it in the pan to cool off and then oh hold on once you put it in the pan to cool off and it cools off. It should be nice and uh, jello. Not jello, but um, cuttable. But wait, how are we gonna get it to stick all together when we cut it? And how are we gonna season it? I'll show you that once the grits are finished done cooking. Done, finished cooking. I said finished done. Uh, Now I'm just gonna mix it all. Mm hmm And it just still has to get like and if you want even thinner, I think you can add water. Mm, yeah, you can add water. Okay. You're gonna be right back to season it and everything. Okay, okay, so now we got it in we thinned it out, we add some more water. And we have it on medium heat, and now we're just gonna put the top on for at least twenty more minutes and Come back occasionally to check on it and uh, stir it, okay? And then we'll show you how to season it. So it's been like 10 minutes and we've checked it twice, so like five minutes, you know? Right, so every five minutes we check it. So this is what it looks like. But we still need it to cook, so put the lid back on. Wait another five minutes. Whoosh. Whoosh. Okay, so now we're gonna season it. We got the, the onion powder. Okay, hold on. Onion powder. We got the sea salt. Okay, fine. Okay. And then we got the granulated garlic. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, we're gonna put to taste. Man, it's not focusing. How much you want in the grits? Ah, ah, shh. Ah, okay, right. So, it doesn't really matter. It's just how much you want. Even if you don't want it. If you don't want it, don't put it in there. It's how much you want. Because it's all about your taste buds. And how you like it. Mm. I like mine seasoned. Cause I am the boy who cooked the world. Hiya! Some salt. Okay. Then you mix it in. Mix. Ow, it's hot. <laughs> mix them. 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 Mix. Ow, it's hot. Mix them. Mix them. It's not popping me. The spoon's hot. 
mixer, 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 mixer. This is my Alexa. Mixer, mixer, mixer. Ha na 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 na. Ha na 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 na. Ha ni 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 na na. Hit it, hit it, da. We might need to add some more water. I still don't know yet. We'll have to see about that. Make sure you. Okay, I'm stuck. Okay, mix. Keep it on low. Put the top back on for another five minutes. Okay, so we took all the grits out and we took them and put them in here in this nice pan and we put them in a circle pan. So we had enough hot to do two pans. And now we have, we're just gonna have to put this in the fridge until it cools down. I don't know how long, but but, B-U-T, I think it's going to be about an hour, okay? So we're going to put them in the fridge and be back to show you how to cut it into squares. And then with the scissors. Yeah, with the knife. No, with the knife. Okay. Okay. We'll be right back. Whoosh. Okay, so I forgot to tell you we put oil on the bottom. But they're in the fridge right now, so, yeah. Great. Great. Okay. Okay, so we're just gonna cut them in some, into nice squares like that after they've cooled. Okay. Just like that. And you have to be gentle. Okay. Nice and gentle. Once you do it like that, you cut it like this. And then, like this, you can have them whatever size you want, it doesn't really matter. Once you cut all of it like that, then we'll come back to show you the battering you need for the fry grits. Okay? Be right back. Okay, so I know this looks a little messy, but we made a dough. And so it's made out of two cups of chickpea flour and one cup of water with a fourth cup of oil and some salt and some onion. And then, once you dip all the grits in there, put them in the frying, put them to fry, and then they become that. See, right? And then I made a sauce. This sauce is made out of mar a marinara sauce with two tablespoons of molasses, a jerk seasoning, you can go online and find any jerk seasoning, and agave nectar. So this meal is gluten free and vegan. So we're just gonna dip it, 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 dip it. Okay, and we're gonna eat it. Mm. So, so good. Okay. We're gonna come back with the, um, after product of the of everything and show you what it looks like Whoosh. okay so they're all done we got that barbecue sauce on the bottom and we got a little a letter parsley on two and yeah one two three these are all mine so that's how you make some nice fried grits and yeah I guess we'll see you guys next time for another video whoosh what was that whoosh what whoosh 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 uh -huh.